Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. Today I have an update on my Roger Repose Super Collection, including some cards from all the way across the Pacific. That's right, all the way from Japan. So before we rip into those, a uh, quick update from when we last left off. I was at 10 cards. The number one person on Trading Card Database has 12. And so this was number 11, the 1966 Topps Rookie Card of Roger Repose on the New York America League team. So I picked this up at the National for a buck, which was a steal of a deal. So that is pretty awesome to add that one to the collection. And then number 12 is this 1969 Milton Bradley game card. And so um, this one has, you know, uh, has some, some basic stats there on the back, but this is obviously part of a game. And so um, an unlicensed one, as you can see, no logos on there. Um, and th yeah, this was from 1969. So this was when he was playing with the A's with the uh, vest uniforms there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so that is number 12. So I was on the lookout for some Japanese cards of Roger Repos. Um, was kind of striking out, couldn't find them anywhere. Obviously not super popular. Um, or available in the US. Um, so I ran across this blog post um, that explained how to buy cards in Japan. So um, I was looking through it and, and uh, I, I went on a couple of the sites and found some. I realized that like shipping was just gonna be uh, like a nightmare. Uh, like you'd have to use, buy it from a site, have a third party ship it. It's gonna be astronomically expensive. So I ended up finding a website though that had a few cards. And I was like, well, if I get a couple cards, that's gonna be more economical than not. So I um, found them on Mandarake Corporation. So that's the website that I want on. And I'll, I'll post a link if you are interested in picking up any said Japanese cards at some point, um, you can uh, check it out on there. So ooh, nice. So this is the first time I've ripped into this. So the, the awesome part was I ordered these on a Tuesday and they came delivered by a, like via a DHL um, delivery van to my house uh, the next Wednesday. So they made them halfway across the world, a little over a week. So that was pretty awesome. So gotta love all the Japanese characters there. So if any and if any of you out there know Japanese, um, feel free to drop it in the comments. What all these things mean? That'd be great. All right, so I cut into that. So we will see what we got here. This is some next level packaging here. Round one. The next layer here. Round one. Bite. All right, we've gotten into the inner sanctum of this package. So let's see what we got. Round one, fight! Nice. These you win. Perfect. Are awesome. So, got it in another bag. I'm sure the, uh, you know, everyone that made this happen, were probably like, what is in this package? And little did they realize, it was three baseball cards. <laughs> so. Um, these are, uh, I believe it's pronounced Calvi. Um, and so uh, Roger Repos played in Japan in the 70s. And so he is on, has a couple cards, which is pretty awesome. Actually, actually the majority of his cards are different variations and things like that of, of cards from Japan. So I may be uh, doing this again in the future if I ever want to get all of his cards. So we got here and he played for the Yakut Swallows. So very nice one there. That one's cool. And then um, this is another one. I don't know what, what years these are, but I will post them below. Um, so that one's cool with the powder blue pinstripes. That one's awesome. And then the last one here is, um, yeah, it looks like, looks like a very similar, well, obviously something from there, similar era um, from these. And so, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, let's take a look at the back. So a couple cool, this must be the uh, the ticket. 
there. Oh, this is this is like the price. So this was 150 yen. So this is like this card was like a dollar fifty. Um, so that, yeah. So uh, altogether, the cards cost me about six dollars. It's about fifteen dollars in shipping, which is obviously expensive. But um, where else can you get cards from Japan other than Japan? So um, wow, that is super cool. So. I'm not going to pretend to know what any of that means on the back, but that is pretty cool. Then our next one here, we'll look at the back here. So this one was 300 yen. So yeah, it's about, about um, I guess it'd be 10 to 1 uh, or 100 to 1. I don't know. No, I guess it'd be 100, 100 to 1. So um, US dollars to yen. So there we go, the back on that. So... That is cool. Yeah, and it's it's interesting. It's a little. It seems a little bit thicker cardstock than um, and and feels you know kind of more of a glossy finish. You know, I mean, I I don't know if you can tell on that, but um, very interesting there. And then our last one, this one was a whopping two hundred yen, so two dollars. So yeah, so is is really actually. Um, you know, just with shipping and, and all those things, to, you know, being able to find three at the same site um, to be able to order from, I was like, you know what, I really need to just go ahead and pick these up because who knows the next time there's going to be three cards of a player that I am super collecting from Japan in the same place at the same time. So this is obviously one from 76. So, and then let's look, it feels like they're a little bit, yeah, that's what I was going to say. They are I was looking at them and they're they're a little bit shorter. It looks like, yeah, there you can see the overlay of a little bit narrower, but a lot shorter than a, a standard baseball card. So, um, but yeah, I guess it, I guess it's always better to be a little bit smaller than being a little bit larger. Um, am I right, eighty nine Bowman? So um, yeah, so that is super cool. Excited to pick these up. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll link. Um, in the description, if you are interested in buying any cards from Japan, um, kind of what I did, uh, you know, the link to go to um, and the article that explains um, kind of how to do it. Well, there we go. That brings my total up to 15 Roger Repos cards, which means that I am the number one super collector on Trading Card Database. Which is pretty awesome and I'm pretty excited to do it with these three awesome Japanese cards. And so there we go. So the uh, the hunt is not over though for Roger Repo's cards. Um, I'm gonna try to get as many as I possibly can. Um, so we will keep you updated as that collection grows. And so thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.